day two of our second round of an egg fast. Yes, it is. We've got lots to do today, lots to share. So let's get started, everybody. See you in a minute. Good morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. We are up early because Harry has a decompression, massage and adjustment and EMS therapy today, electromagnetic st electro muscle stimulator, which is EMS today. So you guys, we need to get out the door also, we're notified by one of our viewers that we have mails. We're going to go by there and pick that up. Um, we need to go to our um, storage unit because I want to get our big uh, portable refrigerator freezer for the back of Jane because we're, I'm going to be... Um, batch cooking some stuff to take with us to Tombstone. We're leaving uh, for Tombstone on Saturday. We're going to be gone Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So we'll bring you along with some of the videos and share that and share the rest of it when we get back. So I'm very excited about all that. We are not going to be doing any fasting while we were, are down in Tombstone. However, we are not going to be eating beef because we're still waiting until around July 13th through the 15th, somewhere in there. When we get back from Tombstone, we're gonna reintroduce beef into our diet to see if it makes any difference, if we feel any different, if we notice any changes at all. Because we had a sensitivity test done and we're just checking the sensitivity to see if it was just a false positive because we had been eating beef solely for a very long time or if we do have an issue with it. We're, the only way you can check something like that is to remove it from your diet and then bring it back in and see how you do. So that's what we're going to do. Yes, indeed. I know there's a lot of controversy and just like anything else, every single test you take is a, is a snapshot in time at that moment. Blood workup, x-rays, all those things, right? So it's interesting because you can have a hairline fracture and it doesn't show up for a couple of days on x-rays even. So it's just to give you more information. Harry and I have more information. We gleaned a lot of information from our sensitivity test. Are we ever going to remove beef from our diet completely? No. no. Are we ever going to remove, is Harry ever going to remove dairy from his diet completely? No. no. But he's going to take things that can help digest dairy before he eats it. going forward. So I just feel like, yes, some doctors believe in sensitivity tests and allergy tests and some doctors don't. Some doctors believe in statins and drugs and some doctors don't. Some doctors believe in metformin and some doctors don't. Doctors, just along with the rest of us, information, training, reading and knowledge is power. And being able to switch gears and, and realize those things is the most important thing possible, including our keto-driven doctors that we have. New things are coming up all the time. You know, research, white papers, scientific studies are what we need more of in order to find out and, and, and grill down on a lot of things because the Food and Drug Administration are the hugest donors of scientists to do studies that will gear towards their products to prove that they are good for you, healthy for you. You know, the studies they do that they pay for are just that. So we need more studies on the ketogenic lifestyle, the carnivore lifestyle, the, the, the triglycerides and cholesterols that we have been hearing about forever that are bad for us. We need more scientific studies around these things. Unfortunately, the funding and the money is not there because the largest contributor to those types of studies are the food and drugs, all the foods and drugs out there. The companies. The all the companies. companies. All the companies. Basically run the FDA. Yes, they do. 
They do, unfortunately. But, you know, if I ever win the lottery and I become a multi, multi millionaire, I will conduct a study. I'm going to let everybody know right now, I will pay to have a scientific study done for the carnivore keto lifestyle against the sad diet and do it correctly and pay the correct scientists to do it unbiasedly so that we get good knowledge and information. When that happens, I'll let everybody know. Trust me. It sounds I like will. a movie. It does. Sounds like a movie. It sounds like our movie. Uh-huh. It does. America Fat. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you guys. We need to eat, but before we eat, we're going to go do Harry's decompression therapy first. And then we're going to come back. We're going to swing by. We're going to go pick up our cooler, our, our refrigerator, freezer that we're taking with us. We're going to stop by the mailbox and we'll share everything along the way, you guys. So let's get this day started. I'll see you guys in the next segment. I need to make bread today because that's part of our egg fast diet is a high protein uh, egg white bread that I make. My buttermilk bread recipe version 2.0. I am making that later, but Harry's starving, so I'm just frying up some eggs, you guys. Yes, I am. What's a frog sound like? I don't know, Harry. What does a frog sound like? No, really. What do they make? What kind of noise do they make? Ribbit. Well, well it depends on the frog. That ain't the frog I just heard. Oh, well. Someone asked you, Harry, are the uh, digestive enzymes and the um, probiotics that you're taking helping oh, you? Oh, big time. Yep. So your stomach is doing well, and right. you got to take them when you do the beef. The challenge is, Not you guys. Not is bad either. I mean, uh, you know, the, pro the, the challenge for me is, is basically cheese. Well, yes, and last three. Oh, go ahead. Cheese, no, cheese and dairy. Yeah, dairy. But basically. you don't really eat that much dairy. Right, I don't. I eat mostly cheese if I have, I think, a lot. Most That's probably the majority of my dairy intake is cheese. Well, you, keto chow has whey protein isolates, but you that most of the lactose is removed from it as part of the processing. If you haven't watched that, go watch that. The high protein isolate. What's the difference between that and whey? And whey is a part of a high protein uh milk isolates as opposed to it's it's uh not complete it's just a part of it and with carrageen so anyway you guys i am going to make us some fried eggs but what i wanted to say is oh my brain just went crazy oh so your gut bacteria your gut biome feeds off of the food we feed it the prebiotics and the probiotics. So if you omit a food group from that, you, you are eventually those may die off. And I'm not sure because I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. But it seems like eating the cabbage this time because I have not had cabbage in a very long time or any cruciferous or any veg green leafy vegetables for a very long time that I bloated with cabbage. I mean, like visibly bloated. Oh, yeah. Yeah, from got, having cabbage three days in a row. So I'm thinking that um, the protein, the, my um, probiotics, my prebiotics, my little gut biome has changed based on the food I have been feeding it. And I think that happens uh, along the way. And I think that's why a lot of people that are mostly carnivore or, or um, are carnivore, when they do have something that's plant-based, they don't have the gut biome anymore in their stomach to digest it. And I just think it's a good idea. If you're eating something you have not had in a long time, a food group like that, that it's best to have a prebiotic or a probiotic or both when you're eat, reintroducing it back into your body. That's just me. Um, I may be wrong. Like I said, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse anymore. I'm not a medical practitioner. And that's what I'm thinking. So, anyway, got the eggs, got our delicious brown butter. One, two, three, four. One, three, four for Harry, three for me. That's and then seven. Af after we're done eating, I am going to 
be making my bread, you guys, because I want bread. I want a scrambled egg sandwich, scrambled in butter with mayonnaise on my toast. I want the toast in the butter. So when you make the butter in the pan, you take the bread and you put it in the butter, you know. Oh, you want that? Oh, yeah. You don't want it spread on after we toast it? No, put it in the... He wants it fried. He wants it fried. Yeah. So we'll do that, you guys, but right now we're gonna have these. I'm gonna put this down here. You... Styrofoam is not recyclable, so it goes in the trash trash. Anyway, yeah, you, you know, guys. I think they would make it so, you know. Styrofoam I some is? Of, some of this, a lot of it's uh, biodegradable, but. I don't know why they don't Depends make it. Depends on where you live, I guess. In a million years from now, they'll be able to go, oh, look, these people had eggs. <laughs> you know. That's yes, true. You do. That's true. That's true. Anyway, you guys, how are you guys doing? Are you guys doing a three-day egg fast with us? Are you going to do like the egg fast, the keto chow fast? I think tomorrow uh, I'm going to batch cook some uh, low-sodium bacon. I'm going to be making some hard-boiled eggs. I'm going to be making some chicken. I'm going to be making a lot of things to take with us. Yes, dear? Is this Friday's show? Yes. Okay. Okay. What, what show did you think it was? I wasn't sure. Sometimes we forget what day it is. Yeah, we do these things and it gets all confusing. <laughs> it gets confused. <laughs> we spend way too much of our day on this stuff. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it is. So, you guys, tomorrow, which is Friday, the 7th, we will be pulling the keto chow my surprise box winner and that will air at 12 15 a.m on the 8th so you guys need to stay tuned Saturday. for that if you have not done so already go to that video harry will link it at the end and if you live in the united states or canada in that video only not this one somebody kiddingly did it on yesterday's video and went haha just kidding so Anyway, just wanted to remind you guys, but I like basting my fried eggs. So, see, it's all basting beautifully because I like it that way. Yes, indeed, I do. I like the top of my yolk, not sunny side up. I like that little bit of glaze. See, look at it, Harry. The little bit of glaze you get on top when you baste the eggs. That's what I like. And then Harry gets... these eggs. I would like them to be on a piece of bread. I would too. You want to make some real quick? But we don't have any. Well, I could have done it first and you said no, you weren't going to wait that No, long. I want to eat. Because it takes 40 minutes to do. 10 minutes to bake and make and about and about too long to cook. Wait for. Yeah. I want scrambled eggs with mayo on mine. That'll be good. That's what I want, and I'm gonna have it because it can. Yes, indeed. So, anyway, let me get this lid. Save that for later today. Um, let's do hickory smoke since I silly did not. I thought I had a big bag of the cherry smoked, and I did not. And I ran out of my little one. I gotta go out to RV. I know. We'll go out later today. I think I wanna bring in the Z Star grill. Yeah. And cook my chicken on it tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. I think that's what I wanna do. A little bit of white pepper. This is the first meal of the day, you guys. And we're gonna have a second meal after I make my bread. So come back. But you guys, gotta eat now. But I've got mail I wanna share with everybody. Got a story to tell. And I'm gonna be making some bread and some more deliciousness later on in the day. So you guys, gotta eat now. <sighs> got eggs in my belly. Yeah, okay. Yes, indeedy, I do. You guys, we've got mail. And one, we've got a postcard of the battleship North Carolina from the sergeant major yes indeed we're very very at Cat cool? Lejeune. this is the battleship north carolina 
Uh, commissioned in 1941, the USS North Carolina was considered the greatest sea weapon in the world. It was built at the cost of $70 million. The new super dreadnought was as long as two city blocks, as tall as a 15-story building, and weighed 35,000 tons in weight. Harry, thank you for the beautiful Memorial Day video. All the troops and veterans enjoyed it being a part of our special event for the veterans on the battleship North Carolina. Nice. You rock. Yeah. And the battleship was there this month, and it's from Pat's Health and Wellness and Sergeant Major Thomas at Camp Tar Sergeant Major Thomas Camp Lejeune. This reminds me, my dad was a sailor, and he was on the USS March DE 699. Destroyer Escort that was commissioned in 1942. It was a Buckley class destroyer escort. It was decommissioned um, in the 60s, I believe. No, 70s. It was decommissioned in the 70s and sold for scrap. It was it was decommissioned and brought back into service in 1962 when my dad re-enlisted for the Vietnam conflict back then. Yes, indeed. Mom was very upset with him when he did that because he was active reserves. But yeah, he, re he uh, went full on, full bore and went over to Vietnam when it was a conflict before it became the full on Vietnam War. That just reminds me of that. He was uh, came back home, thank God, safe and sound. And then he was on the uh, MSC USS Peacock, which is a minesweeper class um, ship and that's what he retired from from the navy finally when he finally retired after 27 was he 27 or 20, no it was 27 27 years no, it was 27 years yeah so thank you so much for this it but, brings back but, memories but he went into the reserves um, yes he was active reserves right i think right after before and after, after yeah. vietnam after right. he got back so yeah my dad yes indeed the interesting thing was is this ship reminds me of Independence Day at Long Beach Naval yeah, Shipyard. We got to, as dependents, go onto the ship. That and the sister ship, Lori, I can't remember the name of the sister ship that was next door that you had to go through the marsh to get to the other ship. They took us all as dependents onto the ship and they had cake and ice cream and we got the full access to the ship and we went out to the Catalina Island and around Catalina Island 26 miles one way to Catalina. Is that the song sounded? Catalina yeah. is a nice place to be. 26 miles, 26 across, the miles across the sea. And we'd play a war game. They'd play a little war game out there and then take us back to port and have a barbecue there. And we went, I think we went three times as dependents on the uh, USS Marsh. But I remember taking dad down every third weekend, uh, bright and early. We had to get there before Reveille at eight o'clock and get him to the ship so that he could go out to sea and do whatever they do uh, as active reserves. So I remember that. So this brings back a lot of memories. Yeah. Dad was on some other ships. He was on a battleship, can't remember the name offhand, but it was uh, bombed. And uh, we had a picture of that, and we gave that to the National Archives that Dad was on. He was on several ships, but, yep, brings back memories. Thank you so much, Sergeant Major. Yeah, mine was on a fleet tug. My dad was on a fleet tug. Oh, was, was he? Your dad? Time. Well, he also worked at the shipyards, yeah, right. Todd Shipyards. No, not Todd. Not Todd? Naval which one? Naval, Naval Shipyard, which is next to Todd Shipyard, right. all down there in Long Beach. So, yes, indeed it was. Anyway. Got another package and thank you for the postcard. Really appreciate it. And thank you for sharing that with all your veterans too, right, Harry? Oh yeah, that was that's great. Glad they got to see it. Yes. We're expecting this. What is it? I don't know. It's a gift. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, you're so sweet. Air fryer paper liners. Oh, These are neat. for our air fryer. Okay, cool. And I think this will fit. Yeah, it'll fit in there. Yep. It'll fit in our air fryer. Thank you so much for the air fryer liners. Truly appreciate it. Anyway, you guys, we'll be back right now. But my phone's ringing. I got to answer it. Hold, please. <sighs> 
That was Smile about Harry's upcoming MRI because we are asking for Valium and we had to do a bunch of other stuff with him. Anyway, finally he gets his MRI done on his hip and his low back when we get back from Tombstone. Tombstone. Yes, we do. Anyway, okay, where was I? We got the air fry paper liner disposables from Stephanie. Stephanie, thank you so much. We truly, truly appreciate these. Those are cool. They're Those are very big. cool, very nice. So, and there are big ones too, because our um, air fryer is a big sucker. It's like six and a half quarts, I think, or seven. Mm -hmm. It's a big one. So I'm very excited about this. Now, I got something from Amazon and I don't recognize it because it's in a box. It was in a bag and now it's in a box. And it's got a beautiful dragonfly seal on it. I don't know what this is, what I ordered. It could be part of Harry's birthday present that's sitting parked in my living room in a huge big box that he can't open yet. Let me see. What is this? This is for Felicia. Felicia ordered it. I was going to say. So my daughter Felicia, this is her box. Because I did not recognize it. And they used our address when they were in um, Germany. Germany. And it's an auto renewal subscription that she probably didn't know about. It's annual. So I'm going to give this to her and not share it with you guys. So Felicia, we're going to drop this by at your house. That happens on occasion. We are the mail central. Mom got her mail here once she lived in uh, the um, um, assisted living home. Retirement home. Retirement home. Our sister, Jill, and her husband, Paul, who live in Santa Marta, Colombia, get their mails from the U.S. here. And I scanned important stuff like income tax and all of that stuff to them um, and send it to them via email because they don't have a post service where they live which is interesting, but they don't. They don't have a post office or anything. They live in Santa Marta, they love it. They have a beautiful condo in a gated community. It's absolutely beautiful. They're in the tourist area right on the beach, right off the beach, like a block away. They love it, but uh, DHL they can get. They can get FedEx, but they don't have a regular yeah, post the cost. service. Yeah, wow. it is super expensive to mail her stuff. Like so $800 she gets, dollars for yes. one little box. Well, no, when mom passed away, I packed her four things in a box. And it was going to cost 800 through FedEx and 1200 to deliver in for DHL. So that's not happening. If somebody in the family ever goes to Columbia to visit Jill, um, they will be taking that with them. Or if she ever comes here, we will be giving it to her. But yeah, I could not believe the price. And then you, they hold it at the FedEx center and then they go get it. So they walk everywhere. They enjoy it. They love it. They've been there almost eight years. I would say eight, nine years, because we moved here and then they moved there. Anyway, long story. Anyway, so I get their mail, got mom's mail. When Felicia and Brad moved to Germany for five years, Brad was, um, their company bought a company. They lived there for five years to pull that company and corporatize it and all that stuff. That's what he went to Germany for. So they had mail coming here and he would travel. He travels globally. So when he was here, he'd pick up whatever it was and put in a suitcase and take it back to Germany with them. So we are mail central here for a lot of people. And I forget to look at the label because Felicia still occasionally, I'll get something big from Chewy and it's for her greyhounds, not Sally. I'm like, how did I get this big box? Oh yeah, that's right. It probably said Felicia on it. So that's what that was. So anyway, too long of a story, but you guys, I'm going to clear this up. I'm a storyteller, what can I say? I love the postcard. I love our, uh, Stephanie, thank you so much for the air fryer paper liners. And you can use these in the microwave, roaster. You can bake a cake. You can put them in a pan and they're already cut for you. So that's super cool in case you guys want to go get them. Yeah, I got a picture of it already. Very nice. So anyway, I'm going to clear this off, wash this off, and I'm going to turn on my oven to 325 because I am baking us bread because I want bread as part of my egg fast. Yes, indeed. 
I made a loaf of my buttermilk bread, version 2.0. Very excited about it. My high protein egg white. Ooh, ow, 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 look at that. Mm. Now you guys, this thing right here happens when there's a seam here as you're adding it in. If you don't, what is with my phone every single day? You're just so- Every time we film, hold please. You're popular. Sorry about that, I'm bringing my phone here. Anyway, when you're putting your um, batter into the pan, if there's a seam here, it's gonna lift up if you don't press it down and kind of seal it to the best of your ability, which is fine, I don't mind that. But I've got my bread here, and I wanna get it out of the pan. I just wanna gingerly get this. I try to go around um, where the bread came over the top of the uh, material, the lining that I use in my pan, so that I can just lift it right out and put it on there. Let's bring it over here. Get my loaf. Ow. It's hot. It's a knife. No, I don't wanna I don't wanna my material to tear accidentally because it is thin. Yeah, it's baker's uh material cloth. Yeah. Some kind of cloth of some sort. Oh man, I love the smell of my bread. Cause you guys, yeah, we haven't sure. had bread in years, so we're not sure what bread tastes like anymore. But our our sensory, our olfactory sensory of smell and taste say this is bread to us. Yep. And you guys, look at this, look at this. Got me some bread for my egg fast because this is made with egg white protein powder, egg yolks, and um, egg yolk, what did I just say? Egg yolk, allulose, just a tablespoon of allulose and a tablespoon of buttermilk powder. So you guys, if you wanna see the recipe, Harry will link this recipe and there will be, uh, the actual recipe itself will be pinned to the comment section right at the top. So he'll link of this video, video, of this video, he'll link it at the end so you guys can go check it out to see how to make it. But I let it sit on a rack. When I'm done, and this is totally, totally cooled down, which I let it sit for a couple of hours. I take my bread container, which I got on Amazon, and I think it's on our Amazon store. Um, I just put one of these inside, put my bread on it, cover the top of my bread, and I just leave it on the counter. We've never had an issue with our bread right. because we eat our bread before it has ever goes yeah, bad. Never so we never have an days. issue with it at all. So, but I want to make a scrambled egg sandwich with mayonnaise later for dinner. That's gonna be my dinner, and I'm gonna let this bread just sit there. And then I just take this, wash it really carefully under water, and then dry it, and it's good to go for the next time, you guys. So, um, my pans, you can get two of those pans. Those are on the Amazon uh, site, store site. You go down in the description below, click on our Loving It On Keto Amazon store site, go to baking goods, is it Harry? Baking supplies or utensils, kitchenwares, utensils, kitchen utensils, and you can uh, find it there. Helpful. So at no additional cost to you, it just gives us a couple pennies, throws them our way so that we get a little bit of money out of the deal, but it's no additional cost for you how you go in to get it. But we do have them listed there if you do want them. So just wanted to share that. Gonna let my bread, I'm loving this bread. That is only a teaspoon, a tablespoon of allulose and look how pretty it is. You don't need more than that. And it does give, allulose does give, give it a texture as well, but you only need a tablespoon. So that's less than half a teaspoon, a slice, like a quarter of a teaspoon. Yeah. Not even, because we get about 15, 16 slices out of this, because we do it thin. Anyway, you guys, 
see you in the next segment when I make scrambled egg sandwiches. Yes, indeed. Hi, everybody. I am making scrambled egg sandwiches, and we talked about I cut my bread. Look how pretty this is. Beautiful. Beautiful bread. We're not toasting it. We're just putting mustard and mayonnaise on it. Yeah, because I want to eat. Yeah, because Harry wants to eat. Plus, it's fresh, and it's delicious fresh. Did we go through a whole egg? A whole? We're going through eggs like crazy. Anyway, I'm getting, fast I'm getting, fast. I know it is. Eggs. It is, it is, lots it of is, eggs. it is. I've got lots of butter in here. Two tablespoons of butter. Two tablespoons of butter. Getting that going. And I'm just gonna crack them and then do them in here. First, I'm gonna mayonnaise and mustard my bread. Harry doesn't like a lot, and I like a lot. Yeah, she likes, so. like, you know, where you can almost see the bread. Yeah, I like tons. Well, you're supposed to have lots of fat, so I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing here. And you guys, we get this huge 24 ounce of this mayonnaise at Costco on sale for, well, it used to be $7.98. I think it's up to $7.99 now, a thing. Someone says it's $15. Well, at our Costco, it's not. But at like a Sprouts or a, a Whole Foods, it might be, but not at Costco. So I just wanted to share that with everybody. I try to share that stuff. That one's mine, this one's yours. Is that gonna be enough mayonnaise? Yeah. And I like just, just a little bit of mustard on it too. Ping. Good. There we go, there we go. My butter sounds good. Look, brown butter. It's the way to do it. Get some eggs in here, and then I'm gonna scramble them up. The shells on the white eggs are so thin. Yes, I think. Excuse me, dear. And the butter, butter is better. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, with all of that delicious brown butter. Oh yeah, nice. I don't like to kill my eggs. I gently scramble. I like the whites cooked. There, that's perfect, you guys. Salt. Some white pepper. Okay, here we go. Egg. Mm-mm-mm. Harry's mad at me again. He's being an ass butthead. Woo! Wendy almost said something nasty. Woo, man. Woo, Harry. I tell you. Yep, indeed. He's, he's mad at me because he has to edit. Oops. Oh, my goodness sakes. Look at this. Now, let me see. I think I have just enough cherry blend Redmond real salt did you get it did you see it here look at this you guys <laughs> that's all I have left oh I gotta get some there we go mm -mm -mm. you have to get it from outside yeah I'm gonna have to rob Arvita that poor trailer gets robbed of more stuff doesn't it yep oh ooh, ooh, ooh. look at that mm 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 Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Oh, yeah. Uh-uh-uh. 
My mom used to make me these if I was sick and not feeling good. I would like either soft boiled eggs with butter, salt, and pepper, or I wanted a scrambled egg sandwich with best food mayonnaise. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Oh, man. You guys, that is as good as it gets. Comfort food when I was a child, and I'm super excited to eat this. So you guys, guess what? Gotta go eat now. Yes, indeed. Hey, let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Are you? Yeah, I'm, two more, I'm getting please. you on here. What? Yeah. Oh. When he's jumping around. You guys, I love this thing. I love my rebounder, I do, because I can just walk right by, jump on it for a couple minutes. Oops. Oh, thank you. Go I on. love my rebounder. You just... What are you doing? I'm taking off my shoes and coming in there. Oh. You said you were ready for me. Come on. I thought you were ready for me. Sally's ready for me. I only sit over here listening. I come by, kick my shoes off, do some reps on my rebounder, get my lymph glands going, and everything else, you guys. Tomorrow I have. Yeah, your glands. Yes. Going. My lymph nodes. Yeah. Lymph glands. Right. Mm. Marty, you better be good. Better be nice to me. I have weight I the lifting lights on tomorrow. You. Look. That's all right. We're going to go ahead and close out. That sandwich was absolutely delicious, you guys. And if you have not done so already, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell. Give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Sally, you what know. She, what does she watch for? When you I don't know. She was sneaking over over there. She came to see what Mommy's doing. Did you say good night? Ah, uh, let's see. You need beef and liver sliders. You need your carnivore beef and liver sliders. We should have taken her some carnivore dog. Oops, oops, oops. Mommy didn't meet you. We should have taken her carnivore dog to the movie theater. Yeah, I didn't think For about Sally. Okay, on your mark, is it? Go. Ooh, she grabbed that. She, she was happy. Dug out, man. <laughs> anyway, you guys. I love the rebounder there because I walk by, hop on for a couple minutes, and keep on going. So, 